Hello everyone, my name is Mohammed Musallam. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, the MVVM uh, button. How many of you heard about the MVVM? One only. Uh, how many of you uh, know Silver Light? Uh -huh. Silver Light. What about? How many one know Silver Light? Yeah. Okay, great. So, uh, uh, MVVM uh, button stands for Model View View Model. Uh, it's a design button. Uh, anyone knows what, what is a design button? Uh, uh, a design button is uh, like a collection of uh, guidelines and best practices that allows you to build application in, in a more uh, efficient way. So this is a kind of uh, design button. Uh, the, this button is used mainly in uh, uh, WBF and Silverlight. So if you ever develop the Silverlight application or uh, uh, a WBF application, you should be, uh, you should, you, know, you will get uh, into uh, troubles and you will start trying to resolve this trouble and you will see that uh, whatever breaks you are using is uh, part of this uh, model view view model button. Okay? So what is it? As we said, it's a design button. It's like a, 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 a separation button. It means it, it, it is a button that used to separate different components of your application. Uh, it, it, it's, also, it's not a new button, actually. It is a very old button, but uh, it's called in a different way. It's called presentation uh, button. Uh, but this button is, is, is specifically used for uh, uh, Silverlight and uh, WF. As we said, it's a separation button. It allows you to separate different concerns of your application. We are talking mainly about separating the UI uh, from the business logic and from the data. So basically, uh, in any application, you have like three main components in, in your application. The data, whatever this data is or where it's stored, and the business logic and the view. Okay? Most of I mean, normally anyone who would develop application just put all these things together. It's a very bad way, right? Uh, if, if, you, if, you have some, uh, if you are more experienced, you will start, you will try to separate your, uh, your application into uh, interface and business logic and, and data layer. If you work with WF and Server Lite, you will find that uh, sometimes it's not that easy to, se to separate the code because even if you try to separate your business logic from your and it's easy to separate the data, of course. The data theory can separate it. It, it would be, I mean, this is the easiest part to separate is the, the data or the model itself. But trying to separate the, your business logic from the views, this is the, 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 the complex part. Because you, you, you will end up, even if you try to minimize the, the amount of coupling or dependency between the two, you will end up with, uh, with some code in your view that you, you, you don't feel that this code is and you feel that this code is for a business or contains some, some business logic, but you cannot separate it from the view because your, key, your code needs to interact with the UI controls, right? So you will end up this, with this code. Normally, this code will be in code behind. Uh, of course, we all know a code behind in ASP.NET and even in, uh, in Silver Light. So why is you know, very important to separate uh, your concern? or separate the different uh, tiers of your application. Because if you successfully try to separate these uh, parts uh, from each other, uh, in, or even minimize the dependency between uh, these parts, you'll be able to test each part uh, individually. You can perform intensive testing in this part. So if you separate the, uh, the, the view from the model, from, uh, from the business logic, you can test the model independently you can test the view model independently and you can test the UI independently. So you, are, you, are, you, make, you make sure that each component is, uh, is tested uh, successfully. And it will be easier to maintain because each code will only contain, uh, each component will only contain code that is related to this uh, tier. So the UI will contain only the UI code. It, it will not contain uh, data or code that deals with the business logic. And the same for all other uh, tiers. And it also, if you, if you successfully separate the three components together, it will be much easier to, to uh, replace 
one component. For example, if you successfully separated the data uh, tier, uh, or the model itself uh, and minimize the dependency on other parts, you can easily change the model. So, for example, if you are storing the data in a database, uh, SQL Server database, and you successfully isolated this, this code that deals with the database in a, in, a, in a separate layer, you can easily change this code to use another database or even store in, in SQL Azure or whatever uh, other data storage. So this is the main importance of this pattern. It allows you to build testable, maintainable, and scalable applications. Question, please. Yeah. Um, how different is it from uh, model, uh, model view controller? In PC. All, all this pattern in VVM, in VC, uh, basically they are called uh, in, uh, model view presenter patterns. This is the official, official name for these patterns. Um, uh, NVC is uh, uh, basically, it's, you know, is it, you, as we will discuss, we'll see it's the same concepts. Uh, NVC is, is you know, it's more oriented towards web applications, uh, like ASP.NET, NVC, uh, PHP, or, or whatever. Uh, NVVM is specific for Server Lite and uh, WBF. And there are ma many variations of the pattern, but the same concept apply to all these patterns. Let's start with the first part in our pattern, the model. The model is a simple, simple part of this uh, uh, pattern. The model is your data, or, it's, or your domain objects, or whatever uh, data you are dealing with, however there are objects in the database. Your model can even be a, a, a service, a web service, a WCF service. It, it represents the data inside your system. For example, it can be a link to SQL uh, uh, objects, can be a uh, to framework, it can be even a real web server or a normal web service. The view represents your screen, your UI code, your controls. Uh, the view is, is used to represent your data. And also it, it, it handles or it interacts with the user in terms of uh, events, uh, actions, behaviors, uh, also contain themes and styles. So whatever the user sees on the screen, this is your view, okay? The view model is an interesting part. It's, it's the man in the middle, the man, inter the, the man that draws the, uh, the view with the model, okay? So uh, what is special about the view model is that the view model needs to as we said, we, we want to the view model to you know, contain only uh, the glowing code. We don't want to use controls or you know, have a reference to the, the UI or user control or the combos or text boxes. We, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't do this because if we add this references, it will be adding a dependency between the view and the view model. So the view model will mainly have to solve this. It's by using uh, data binding. So this, as we said, this model, uh, this uh, pattern is specific to WBF and Silverlight because it depends heavily on the uh, uh, data binding. And these are, uh, this feature is an uh, is, uh, important feature in both uh, WBF and uh, Silverlight. So the view model, uh, the view model is, in, is a component in the middle. It uh, contains co code that, you know, it has access to the model. So basically the view model will go to the model, grab whatever data or properties, and render this uh, data in a, for, in a format or in a way that is suitable for the view. It will take this data and present it to, to, to the view through data binding. Okay? And it, it will also will be able to receive actions or, or events that happen.